Yo. Uh, hello, everyone. That was two songs. Mr. Green and, uh, <laughs> don't, don't ask about this, this song name, but Cactus Schlong by the, uh, artist Richard Jesse Project. I accidentally found these guys on Spotify and they have like 114 monthly listeners, like barely anyone. But they make some fuck good stuff. I was I was very impressed. I was like, damn, this is pretty good. What the hell? Especially with like joke names like that, I thought it was gonna be like some bullshit, but no, they they make good shit. Um so I guess just I guess go check out uh Richard Jesse project. They're pretty good. Anyway, hello. Um I don't see anyone in chat right now, but I'll be playing Splatoon. I'll be doing After Alterna. Good shit. And I, th I think it'll be a good time. Hopefully nothing happens, because I feel like the last time I tried to stream Splatoon, it ended up in a uh, commercial failure. Let me just change my input, and we'll be right there. Ooh, let me turn off desktop audio. There we go. Oh wait, that's my mic. I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, oh, this can turn down. Huh, why isn't anything, uh, why isn't there any audio changes? Nah, I'm stupid. Okay, <clears throat> that should be good. Let's not listen to this podcast. Let me look through the stuff first and see what they have at the stores, and then I'll go to after Alterna. I hate it. I'm buying it. Oh, right. I have no money. Oh, I kind of. I kind of dig this. And I want it. I also hate this too, but I kind of want it as well. Yeah, I have, uh, I have no money. I'm poor. Ooh, I hate that. I just like buying stuff I'm never gonna wear. I might play a couple matches. Let me just play, like, Yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to play a match or two, right? Alright, I have a conch shell. One in a million shows at one. Aw, oh, thanks for stroking my ego. I have like 12, 16 remaining. I'm gonna get a level up. I'm gonna get, get a catalog level up. And then I'm gonna go do after Alterna. If I don't have the mask, the money for the mask, before I win a match, then uh, I guess I'll just get it later. Her shit, I'm turning this shit up. If it's too loud, it looks it looks a little loud. I'm turning that down. Never mind. I care more about the stream quality than if I can hear the game. <laughs> I don't want the game to be inc Oh fuck you! I don't want the game to be incredibly loud. Ah, oh, fuck off. That was not my smartest move. <laughs> my least favorite 
weapon to fight. The babob the blobbler. Bababler. I just I am not of the enjoyment of it. See? It just is it's annoying. <clears throat> it's it's how did I get up here? It has range and I don't have range. So that's my issue with it. was epic and awesome. <laughs> See a little bit over here that we didn't get. This is so sad. How could we forget this little thing that Oop, got him. You know what also doesn't have range? The fucking squiffer. <clears throat> okay, how did the babobbler get me when it was trying to hit the other direction? <laughs> I don't understand the aiming when it comes to this weapon. Fantastic. First win of the day. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Is that like a shirt? Why is it so long? <clears throat> it looks like a shirt dress. You know what? I'm not a fan of shirt dresses. I think they're kind of ugly. Kind of uggo. Not gonna lie. I probably don't have enough for that, even though I have a double up. Ew, ew. What is it? What are these weapons? Or these, uh. Yeah, I don't. What are these choices? They look like dog shit. How do you get to Al Alterna here? Cause you can't like go here. I think you just have to use the... The map. So where was the little... Where was the thing to go to after Alterna? There's like a little place that they said, but I'm not aware. Because I accidentally talked to them before. Turn I'm gonna have to look this up. Hold on, I'm gonna have to look this up. Cause there's nobody in chat right now that can let me know. How to get to after Alterna. Head to the first area of the campaign and find the new kettle. Just behind where the players spawn. Oh. 
I don't know how long after Alterna would take. I guess we'll see. It seems like one level. Ooh. If I beat- My bad. If I beat this- <clears throat> Before two hours, then... Uh, I will play some matches. Good fun, dudes. Because I didn't know that this was, like, one whole thing. I thought this was, like, something else. Like, one whole level. It doesn't seem that bad so far. Why didn't I jump? Oops. Her ass just ain't jumping. This doesn't seem that bad though. that bad. Come on, what are people crying about? I, I I keep hearing that this shit is like the hardest thing ever. my thing would show that the, the 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 playback for this is like not like 20 fps because it makes me think that the stream is like really slow Ooh. we we have some spicy moves in this Sugar, there's some spice. If this is like a girl power situation where everybody's like, oh, wait, 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 girl power is so hard, I will laugh my ass off if this is actually like dead ass easy. Though I do hate these guys. I hope I didn't miss anything out there. Hello, hello, cheesy in chat. Hello. I'm doing after Alterna now, and it really ain't that bad so far. I feel like people are overreacting. There, there's some spicy... There's some spicy moves in this, but otherwise it ain't so bad. Again, yeah, there's some sugar. There's some sp spice. But it seems like everything is pretty nice. 
But I haven't gotten to a checkpoint, so it does seem like if I fuck up, then that's it. Is that the thing that fucks people up about this? Is that if you fuck up, then it- that's it? Like I, I was saying, it, it, if I if I get this done really quickly, then I'll just do some matches. Let's see if I get a, a, a checkpoint. Yeah, okay. So there are checkpoints in this. I see. How's the audio, by the way? I didn't have anyone to check earlier, so. Audio is good? Okay. I just want to make sure that the game isn't louder than me. Like, this is a little spicy, but, like... Not like a... a... I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt and say that I usually fuck up on these at least once. I usually will fuck up on, on these stages at least once. Yeah, real suck. They're fun. It's just they're they're kind of hard because you kind of have to um, learn the pattern. They're kind of difficult to do the first time, especially if you don't know where they're gonna show up. You usually need like at least one attempt to figure out where they're gonna start showing up. Oh, you can't reach from that far. Bullshit. Okay. I thought I could reach. Oh. That's a little yucky. Okay. I guess the more you know, but... I thought this weapon had a lot more reach than that.
I guess the more you know. Let's see. I don't know if this is the only rail section doing this, but if it is, then this is probably going to be the hardest part for me. Oh, come the fuck on! Man, how do you do that? That's rough. Yeah, just having to, like, swap is hard. Even in the base game, these rail sections were difficult for me. And I'm not using like a really long range weapon, so this is kind of rough. This is just a hero shot. down and that's why I did that. Fuck off. That's some bullshit. Very glad that I have a lot of uh, eggs. Because this rail part is going to be the one that fucks me up the most. really hope there's no more on rails after this. Yeah, because every now and then she won't like she won't swap. She'll just kind of, like, jump. Even though I'll ask her to, like, do that. And <laughs> I wasn't gonna run out of ink. Oh. Oh. oh man, that one was freaky. Ooh, that one made like my uh, that one made my stomach turn a little bit. I thought I was gonna fuck that up. Ooh. Okay, okay, we're good. This is just soaker walk. This isn't that bad. Stop it. Soaker, soaker blocks aren't that bad. Oh man. 
Thank you, I appreciate it. I did, I had to, to, to sneezy sneeze a little bit. a lot of squish surges and stuff. The thing that fucked me up was the the rails. It's always the rails. Now oh, this is going to be a race. about see the pretty pretty nice about checkpoints get it. Okay. It took me a second. I was like, huh? I'm good. Just a little silly. Just a, just a little funny. Not with that screen door. Must be the last stop. Get a couple eggs, why not? Problem, okay. What's popping? Uh, this is popping. You. Oh! Why did I fall off? Pardon? Why did I fall off? <laughs> I don't. Okay, sure, whatever. Fine with that. All right, not a problem. We're good. I don't count that as a death. I count that as a stupid. I haven't died in this as, as many times as I thought, though. So how am I gonna do that? Ooh. 
so that makes him go away. And it's not just about doing it fast, because those are full over there too. I'm just stupid. Yeah, I'm just a moron. Uh-oh. Oh! We're good. And there's something over there, but I fucked it up. Oh well. It's just a couple eggs. It's not that bad. <clears throat> if it was like the, the packets though, I would be more fucked up about it. Now this looks like girl power. Oh, I'm having memories, bro. I would play girl power all the time. Weaklings thought girl power was hard, bro. Hahaha, <laughs> stupid. more of them, they just respawn. See, they're, they're just bad at the game. Aw, oh, are you fucking using a big swig? I'm sorry. No, that can't be a big swig. It's just a squat roller. They actually- okay. Them using specials is, is a little harder. Okay. S still not that bad. I got to phase three, like, almost instantly, so... really mad because bad though. Stop it. Put it. Cheesy got inked. True though. Stupid. 
someone doesn't know how to dodge there correctly. How do they get Sheldon's weapons? Because those are those aren't like Octolang versions. That shit. That's a, that's stupid. Stop it. You just have to kill them before they. You know. Uh oh. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Stupid. Okay. Always wanted to get uh, Splatoon for the longest time. This looks really fun. Yeah, it is really fun. Wow, was that really after Alterna? People had problems with that? Are you dead ass? Okay, de dead ass. Is there actually another after Alterna or is that it? I, I spent 30 minutes on that. People were like, people act like after Alterna is the hardest shit ever. That, that was not that bad. All things considered, that was pretty easy. Really? Did I ever read this? Famous last words. I, I just finished. That was easy. Recall for a moment the first apocalypse the devastating, uh, that devastated the human race. Those who escaped into the caverns of Alterna were not the sole survivors. There were others escaped via a giant rock ship, the Ark Pol um, Polaris. Launched in the nick of time, the um, ship was laden with many of Earth's species that had been placed into a cold sleep. The mission was simple. Find another place to replace Earth. Considering the circumstances of its launch, the Polaris had a smooth voyage until it reached the edge of the solar system. It was at the point of debris stuck, struck the vessel, damaging its navigation system. The crew was able to turn the ship around and head towards Earth, but the effort was in vain. Um, in vain. There was not enough fuel to attempt a landing. The Ark Polaris drifted aimlessly for 10,000 years. Eons passed, the once stable orbit of the Polaris decayed over time until the ship found itself in the inescapable pull of Earth's gravity. Re-entry was not kind to its in um, inhabitants, all perished save one, Baru-03, an experimental subject who had retained consciousness with his cold hibernation survived. For 12,000 years he, um, he had dreamed and plotted. Fully, um, fully awakened Bear Zero Three came to the terrible realization he had not landed on a new planet at all. He was back on Earth, and yet it was not the Earth and he knew. This Earth, it seemed, was dominated by the sea creatures. Not a single mammal had been found. In the course of his search for even a single fe fellow mammal, Bear, Bear Zero Three used navigational equipment from the wreckage of the Ark Polaris to discover Alterna. It was a wasteland, of course, but a few of the liquid crystals that had once covered the walls and ceilings remained. With the, um, with the knowledge built during the, his thousands of years of dreaming, he repaired some of Alterna's facilities and began researching the crystals. The research bore fruit when Bear Zero Three compounded some of the liquid crystals with his own fur. The experiment created an entirely new substance with one terrifying property. It could transform any living creature into a mammal. Barazio 3 realized the implications immediately, and he could restore the planet to a mammalian paradise. He began stockpiling fuzzy ooze, as he called it, with Alterna's still intact rocket. 
For such a venture, he would re require the acquisition of thousands of golden eggs. These were used in the creation of the Fuzzy Ooze, although the exact details have never been recorded in my, in my memory banks. But Z Bear 3 had a plan. He founded a corporation that would go on to employ locals to collect his golden eggs under the name Grizzco in, um, Industries. Mr. Grizz, as he was now known, would pay handsomely for them. With the Fuzzy Ooze production peaking thanks to the assistance of sus unsuspecting inklings and octolings, Mr. Grizz took the final steps and set his plan in motion. The rocket was loaded. It wouldn't be long now. Shit. <clears throat> Pro reader? True? I try. So that's- the okay, this is the new one that we unlocked. Very neat. Good shit. I thought we were gonna have to like fight, gri fight Grizz again or something, but yeah, that's- that wasn't- that wasn't- I have more problems in the hub world than I had there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that wasn't that bad. T T B H. And I did all of these, right? Yeah, I think I've gone through all of these. Oh, I haven't done this world. I won't do it now. Uh, that'll just be boring. Um, I guess I'll go back to the surface. That was... I mean, after Alterna was good. I thought it was cool. Kind of weird that they dumped the lore on how all the mammal shit came to ex um, exist so late in the game after the extra content as a single text file. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I get that. It was like, I guess they kind of wanted it to be a secret, but you had to do something like, quote unquote, crazy hard to figure out how things actually went down, I guess. I don't know. Also, Team Alien. Uh, there are still mammals, I mean, there are birds. I just saw a bird, bro. That, that's, that counts as a mammal, unless it's actually a squid bird! It's a squid bird! Feels like an afterthought? A little bit, yeah. But... Hold on. There. There are still mammals, there are birds. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, like, okay, it's not like a mammal mammal, but they have feathers, which is close to fur, in a way. Oh! Holy shit! Ayo? A fucking O? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I got, I gotta, I gotta. I gotta talk to my main man over here. A fucking O? He really do got the fit in this game though. Like, okay, hold up. Like, hold up. The shoes, the pants, the purple button-up with, with the pattern, it looks a little linen-y. The, the fucking, the fucking epic glasses and, and the goatee, bro. He got, he got the fit. He got the fit. Sorry. I'm drooling looking at him. <laughs> You're taking my job, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Add abilities. Let's see. What did I want? I wanted a quick respawn on this. Ah, fuck! If his hair looks like that, imagine what his pubes look like. Hey, man. Look. We all got things we're not proud of, all right? Don't do them like that. 
You can get this though. Not bad. I just need one more. I just need one fucking more. <sighs> See, I don't, look, I don't even know what these do, but I think it looks nice that they're all the same. <laughs> I, I play this like fashion souls, alright? At least I kind of try. I don't use that. What was the one that I use? Wait, what the fuck is the one that I use? I don't think it's this one. Is it this one? Did I re-roll this? Hold on, I'll be back. No, it is that one. Yeah, I do use that one. Okay. I just scrubbed it, I guess. I won't fuck with this one then. Sniffy. I'll just be a fast motherfucker. I only care about the cool stat that others um that others don't. Mm hmm. Only care about the cool stat that others don't matter. Yeah. Okay, I need thirty, but what? Yeah, that's, that's good. And this will have run speed, which this will be good for. My other bill. People, mm, it wasn't thermal ink that people said I should have on this. It was like, it was this, but I need run speed. Man, I need another one of these. I don't mind hot. I like it. Though it's a little difficult to use because it's like... Haunt is basically... I heard it's really good for, for Dapple Dooley meta. But... You kill someone, or somebody kills you... I could probably try it with this. Let's see if this works. If I let this guy kill me. Let's see if it shows or no. Shit. No, it doesn't because it's not actually a person. Uh, if... If a person kills me then after i respawn i get to see them behind walls and shit but um <clears throat> i have to kill them before they kill me again or anybody else kills them and then they get a slow respawn if i kill them before anyone else does i don't know what the point of this thing is See if I suck today. I want to get all the weapons, but because of how the um, the weapon system is with this game, with the licenses, I I only play a couple weapons. 
but because I'm a completionist, I want to get everything. But you need to play weapons a certain amount of times to get a, a license. And also win. <clears throat> but I'm only really good with a couple of weapons, so it's hard to get licenses. I wish I could just buy weapons like in another game. Like Splatoon 2. Sucks. Sad. Sploosh! Oh, his name is Spoosh, my bad. Spoosh. Winning, that's for losers. Yeah, I agree. Oh, look at that little fucker. Aw, oh, what a pussy. Imagine being such a little wuss bitch. Range moment. Imagine using a weapon with no range. Couldn't uh, definitely could not be me. <laughs> Come on. Just just accept your fate, bro. Not bad, not bad, not bad. First match in Splat Zones, already killing it. Look, Splat Zones is the one I'm good at. I'm also okay at Rainmaker, but I, I'm always pretty decent at Splat Zones. It's definitely more my thing, because I get to uh, be fast and ink a lot of turf, which I like doing. Don't ask why I'm C though, I just don't play a lot of ranked. It's not because I'm bad, I swear. Why are you C? I just don't play a lot of ranked. I play more Turf War, which is a very unpopular opinion upon, upon Splatoon players. I actually like Turf War, which every Splatoon player would probably shun me for. You don't actually like Splatoon if you play Turf War. Turf War sucks. Everybody knows rank is best. That's what Splatoon players sound like. As they cry and whine because they're bad at, ink uh, at inking basic turf. They can only play high adrenaline matches because their bodies are uh, cr craving the adrenaline. I've never played on this map before. That's probably not a great start. It is a cool map. I've just never played on it. Ooh! Remember, kids, the most um, 
the more only correct option is the most accepted one. It's true. Hydra is one of the harder weapons for me to uh, escape from, just because of the long range of it. <laughs> Damn! What's going on with us today? Shit! Never even played on this map before. Already a knockout? Damn. Gamer? True! Fucking cracked. I try. I try. Look, at least I'm not having... Uh... Oh, I'm not having a streamer moment where I drop my spaghetti. Though I just said it, no, though now that I just said that, I'm probably gonna drop my spaghetti. over how easy after alterna was like the hardest part of that was the rails like people were complaining like oh god damn it people were complaining like hell when this game came out and everybody was like oh my god after alterna is so hard oh. It's just like slightly more intense movements. Ender Agent 3 numbered me to the pain, uh, numbed me to the pain that was after Alterna. Inner Agent 3 is actually difficult. I agree, Inner Agent 3 is actually difficult. I actually went back and redid that fight. And uh, I didn't win. I just gave up because I was dumb. Um, but that fight is actually hard. Especially, I, I feel like it would be easier with the movement options that this game offers, like this. But, just, because the movement of this game is really nice. I really like being able to do this little, like, flippy thing. But, like, the thing about After Alterna is I found it, like, deadass really easy. Just because it's, like, I don't know, you did some, like, somewhat more intense movements but otherwise it wasn't like too good I do that now that was a, that was a little bit of a spaghetti drop not gonna lie lot of checkpoints in after all turn up like i was expecting it would be like a, a one and done oh very cool 
I was expecting it was gonna be like a one and done kind of situation where um, if you fuck up, that's it for good. But they're like, they're, there's checkpoints. It's not, man, it's not too bad. The checkpoints made it bearable. Oh my god, they have like shit everywhere. I told you, I'm dropping my spaghetti now. Maybe you should have let them have all of those? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Fuck! God damn it. See, I had to go and fucking say something. I had to be like, well, I'm so damn doing pretty well, but I did. Shit, I did pretty well in this stream. In after uh, rails and girl power two segments notwithstanding i'll be honest i'll be honest <laughs> look look i'm sorry everybody complains that girl power is really hard everybody i hear it constantly i've always heard it since platoon 2 octo expansion came out everybody was like girl power is really hard it's not I've beaten girl power with every single weapon that they offer you. Pretty easily. It's not- I'll be honest, girl power really ain't that bad. And I only died once on girl power too. Prove it? <laughs> I'd have to get Splatoon, um, Splatoon 2 and do it all over again. I don't want to get up right now and get split into my my case is outside, not my room. I promise though. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I did beat Girl Power Two, but basically Girl Power Two in one shot though. Not one shot. Uh, two tries. Beat that fucking level with both gy gyro and sticks. Damn. I can't play this game without Gyro. Ah! Stupid. Ah! Stupid! good oh shit we wiped him out Ooh. <laughs> fucking loved apple doodlies 
I love daffodillies. They're the reason they're my fave. You proved it. Nice. Thanks. They're just so goaded. They're just so goaded with the sauce, bro. They're so good. I can't help it. They're just so good. Like, how can I not use them? And I don't mind the the other, the original Dapple Dooleys either. I almost like those, uh, I think I like the original a little bit more than these. It's just, these are really good for splat zones because of the, uh, the shark. They're really good for breaking up the crowd in the middle of the, the splat zones. Like this is really good in splat zones. I like the normal dapple dillies for the point of the uh, the spawners. I use spawners a lot. I, I've kind of figured out good areas to hide spawners too. And I've, I've gotten some pretty decent uh, splats by just like good spawner placement that nobody expects to look Sorry, my bad. Ah! Fucking 52 gal moment. I'm gonna lose it. Aw, oh, man. How are we really gonna lose it? Fuck off. Fuck off with the 52 gal. Hold on, I'll read the chat message in a minute. <laughs> God damn it! Oh man, that was pretty yucky. That was pretty yucky. That was pretty icky yucky, if I do say so myself. Thanks, bro. All right, all right, all right. Thank goodness for that tactical alert, yeah. That tacticaler came in clutch, bro. As a newly permanent EVP for Grisco, I can attest that Dapples are amazing. Yes, they are really good for Grisco and we never get them for Grisco. That fucks me up. We never get Dapples for Grisco. It sucks. I love them so much. They're so good. They're like, their, uh, their roll shots are really good. I don't know what you call those. Because you roll and you shoot faster. They have a name, I just don't remember it. But like, it's really good for this weapon. Like, it does a shit ton of damage. Even with like, it's shitty range. It's really good. It's really good. Per uh, being a permanent EVP for Grisco makes you evil. We just learned that. It is kind of true. I... I got to the highest level in Grisco, but then I lost it because of online matches, which is so really amazing and wonderful. I was so disappointed I got bronze for the, the latest big run. Cause it's like, I don't know, I didn't have enough time to play like a shit ton during big run. And so I, I bungled it and so I didn't, get as many eggs as I did last time. And plus the number went up. If those numbers keep going up, I'm fucked. 
I was lucky I got silver for the last one. Or like the first one. As a two-time gold holder for Big Run, I am legally allowed to say Big Run fucking sucks. I, I like it. I think it's fun. You can get some pretty good eight counts, but it's really hard online. Oh, oh. Okay, we're good. It's like, if you play Big Run just to play Big Run, it's fun. But if you play Big Run to get gold, it's gonna be hell for you. Especially if you play with randos. Wiper, 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 please get the wiper, thank you. If you play for, for gold, it's gonna be hard. You like the idea behind it, but chasing after an invisible gold post is annoying. Yes! It is really annoying, I agree. Ah! Eek, 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 eek! Fucking weight breaker. Um, I wish... I wish the coals weren't invisible. I wish it what you didn't have to guess how good players are gonna be this time. And if you're gonna guess, then it's always gonna be better. Like, they're always gonna get better. The number is always gonna get higher. It's just you don't know how much higher. And that blows. Oh man, fucking caution machine. I don't think we're gonna get this one. <laughs> like for, uh, you, were, you would like for a halftime like Splatfest instead. Yes, yes, that would be great. If you could have a halftime. Oh, it's more food. If you could have a halftime, I'm just gonna accept the loss for this one. If you could have a halftime and kind of figure out it's not gonna- no. Yeah, it's not. Then you could kind of figure out what you're aiming for. And if you know that you're gonna, uh... Not be able to do it. Because it's- it's hard. And it's obnoxious. Also, also, another thing about Big Ren that I just thought about again was I'm disappointed about the music. Like, I was so hoping that we would have something other than just clickbait. Because clickbait is good. It is. But I was hoping that with every Big Run, we would have one new song. Where it, it would be Omega 3 and then one of the songs from this game. Until you go through all the songs. Then you would have a lot of new music. And, and you're not... I'm not saying like, oh... You know, mu making music is hard. I get that. That's why I'm saying don't like do all the songs in one big run. So I'm saying space them out. So like every big run you get one new song. That's like one of the bands. But they didn't do that. I was so really disappointed that we didn't get at least one new song. Cause it's just the same song we 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 had last time, and it was only one song, so it gets boring fast. It's a good song, but you know, you can only listen to the same song enough times. I think this game lacks a lot of music that Splatoon 2 had. Like, every update we had at least, like, one or two new songs. But with this game, every update we just don't get new music. Everybody's just- everybody's been asking for new music, and yet we just don't get it. 
Where did he hit me? He was like sloshing to the other direction. Whatever. Um Like the music in this game is good. It's just this I don't even care if they at this point if they added songs from Splatoon 2. It, I'll be honest. Like fucking I don't care. You can reuse music. I don't give a shit anymore. I just want more music. Cause I feel like I hear the same fucking song every every round. Which in a way I kinda do. Ah Yeah, or hell Splatoon ones. But the only place that they reuse music is in the lobby. Which is cool. I think that's neat, but it's during the stages that it really matters. You're not sitting in the lobby all the time. You're playing the game. <laughs> they gotta do a Gangnam Style ne up, uh, cover next update. Somebody should do that. I know there's like people out there doing a, a lot of really good sh uh, shit post Splatoon covers because they've finally learned how to do uh, squid vocals. to a, a, a really good extent. I don't know how they do the squid football so well, but... <laughs> but, you know... They, they do them, and they're really good. Tune Ways Weezer cover real. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's a problem. Yeah, we just, I just feel like this game is in desperate, desperate need for new music. And we've already had two updates. We had the cool season, and we had the, the, the spring fling, or whatever it was called. That one. The spring one. And yet, we still have not gotten a single, I mean a single new song for base game. For sp for the oh, 14 14 to 4 that's pretty good but of course there is the new squid sister song the two new squid sister songs for um for the the DLC but one is a lobby song one is a lobby song not lobby but like um performance song and one is a match song i assume that if you have the dlc you're going to be hearing the songs from splatoon one from the squid sisters and then also um the new one with uh ian bgm totally not big man i assume that's how that's gonna work if I don't hear any other Squid Sisters songs during Splatfest, though, apart from that one, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Even if you're redoing songs from Splatoon 1, Squid Sisters have a lot of songs. They have a lot of songs. Oh, they have a lot of songs. At least for Splatfest, too. So it's like, you have a lot of options. If they just do the stuff from Splatoon 3 and don't bring back the ones for Splatoon 1, At least for, for, like, when you're playing in this lobby, you know? You had an inkling that was gonna happen. <laughs> Ew, table turf. Ew! Ew! Who plays table turf, bro? Who fucking plays table turf? 
Only stupid moron idiots place table turf. I'll be honest, table turf is so lame. <laughs> I do because it lets me create Among Us, but that's the only thing. It doesn't let you like do anything else. It's just like needlessly complicated for no reason. And I don't like complicated things. I'm a little stupid. But, you know, this game is just hankering for some new tunes. It's like, I, I feel like the gameplay in this game is a big step up from Splatoon 2. But I feel like I had more good memories from Splatoon 2 than I do with this game. I saw somebody say that exact thing on Twitter and I felt the exact same. It's like, this game is good. I feel like it's better gameplay-wise than Splatoon 2. But... I feel like I had better memories with Splatoon 2 than I do with Splatoon 3. <laughs> Whatever. I count that as a win. <laughs> Splatoon did, definitely had a lot of stuff going on. Three is definitely set up, but two had a, um, had a better feel to it. Yeah, and Splatoon three had a rough start. It had a rough fucking start. Especially with the um, the internet issues in this game, they were bad. miss being a multi-millionaire and grinding in Salmon Run in 2. Yeah. I don't know why, but I don't know if, like, stuff just feels more expensive in this game, or what, but, like, I don't have any money in this game. I always had, like, a, a shit ton of money in this game. I think it's because, I think it's because of the fact that I think you earn less money. I think you earn less money, and two, you don't have triples. You don't have triple shit. Because in Splatoon 2, you had, uh, times, times one up, times two up, and then you also had times three up. But in Splatoon 3, you only have times one, times two, and then, uh, like, times two for the team as a whole. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like having a times two up for the team as a whole. Cause I don't know these people! Why should I care about them? You've been hold hoarding your, uh, wait. Still think about your very first match in this game that ended up from a disconnect. Yeah. So that's what battles are like. Just been, uh, you've just been hold hoarding your gold like a filthy dragon. Like, I, I just, you know, I buy all the shit in this game because it's like, I, I'm buying the stuff that is only for, for cold season or whatever. For the seasons. But, and I must say, catalog stuff is so hard. I don't know how people can get to a catalog level 100 in like, four days unless you have no friends and no life like i play splatoon a lot i do but my time is a lot more skewed lately where i'm doing more shit with my life and it's harder for me oops and it's harder for me to find time to play splatoon 3 and I want the stuff. That's the thing. I want the shit. I didn't even get the, um... I didn't even get the... The, the dab. 
I was almost level 100. I'm, I'm telling you. I was like 98. And then the season ended, and then I lost all that progress. I was actually really sad. I was I was pretty disappointed. It's not that like, oh, ha ha ha, funny, dab, funny. But I was like, I was almost there. I, I was, I felt like I had lost a lot of my time because I was trying to get all the shit. And just because I didn't have enough time to play the game, I, I wasn't able to, to get the, the last like two or three things. It felt not fair. The fact that the catalog resets hurts my soul because it's like, you know, I'm really trying. I don't. I just don't have the time, and it's probably all that shit is probably going to reset next year. So it's like, oh, what, or like when they stop doing updates for this game, it's probably going to reset. But until then, I don't have all that shit that I missed out on. You just gather seven other friends in a lobby, uh, a public turf war lobby, and just spam reflu reflux, easy catalog, easy life. Makes sense. After having grinding out season one's catalog, I was seriously burned out on the whole catalog system. Yeah. And like, I, I wasn't even like grinding the catalog. I was just playing Splatoon 3 because it had just come out. Um, but after, after that first month, I was, I was really hard on time. I was like, I, I was already hard on time. I was just putting shit off to play Splatoon. But now it's like, I definitely don't have time. And there's shit in this update that I really want. I'm telling you, there's stuff in this in this catalog update that I really want. I want the guitar, and I want one of the, um, I want one of the, the wind animations. But the thing is, the guitar is like 99, and then the wind animation that I want is like 84. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Yeah, like, the guitar is, like, almost end catalog. And it's really cool looking. I want it. I, like, I was asking for a guitar in the catalog or in the, in the store when this game came out. And then finally there's a guitar, but it's, like, end catalog for this, for this season. And I'm like, man, I just don't have that kind of time, bro. Hey! You're basically describing the problem with battle passes. Yeah, I am kind of describing the problem with battle passes. It's like I'm a completionist, especially with this game, I'm a completionist. And... I, I, I got all the gear in Splatoon 2, I got all the weapons, all the, all the outfits, everything. Even if I- really? Even if I thought the shit was ugly as fuck, I got it because I just liked having everything in this game. I can't do that in this game because one, I have no money, and two, um, stuff from the catalog is is uh is, is time oriented. So if you don't have enough time, fuck you, I guess. <laughs> oh, I love Splat Chargers. They're so fun. This game basically has a battle pass without having a battle pass. That you, you know, have to pay for. You should be able to spend gold to get catalog EXP. Yeah, I would say that, yeah. Also, rest in peace if you want to collect every weapon in Splatoon 3. If you want to collect every weapon in Splatoon 3, you're kind of fucked. You have to- I- I find it the whole Sheldon system a little obnoxious. Okay. I find the whole Sheldon system a little obnoxious because of the fact that like I don't like playing some weapons. But 
but I have to play certain weapons to get catalog points. So, or like to get the licenses, or else I can't get the love the weapons. And it's really obnoxious. I just want to buy them. Like I did in Splatoon... Splatoon 2. I'm slowly beginning to run out of weapons you love using. Yeah. Like, I only have, like, two catalog licenses. Because I don't want to play other weapons, bro. I really don't. I don't buy... I don't... Get get weapons because I like to use them all. I get weapons because I like having a complete library of items. Because I'm a completionist. I think it's nice seeing a full inventory. It looks nice. But I don't want to have to be forced to play weapons I don't want to play if I want to have all the shit. That could be a mad cause bad situation, but like, I just, I just don't. Yeah, I hate snipers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Have fun with the slow respawn, though. Yeah, let me, let me read this. Modern paddle passes are basically play our game for 100 hours uh, or you get um, FOM mode and give us th um, that other game that you need to play for 100 hours and accept the FOM, FOM mode here. Don't get me started on that. I'm still beginning to run out of weapons I love to use. Hell, I tried the Splatana Stamper because I thought, hey, I loved using it in the Salmon Run. Why don't I try it out in PvP? Lost my first match with it and just gave up because I don't like the playstyle of it that much. Yeah. Like, I hear in meta that Splatana Stamper is really good. I'm sure it is. But the thing is, the reason I like using the Dapple Dooleys is because they're fast. I like using the mini Splatling out of all of the Splatlings because it's fast. I like fast weapons. I like being able to move fast so that I can like, I don't know, just get kills easily. And I, I don't know, there's just not a lot of weapons like that. And I, and like the Splatana Wiper is just, it just doesn't do enough damage and I end up the thing about the Splatana Wiper is that what, what it wants to be, it wants to be a weapon where you can go in and just be strong and do strong attacks and just be really offensive. But I end up, when I play Splatana Wiper, just running away from people. Stamper is good, but you don't like being hyper-aggressive stick, uh, stick to support. I, I like being hyper-aggressive, but the thing is, I just... That, that's the best thing about these, is you can be hyper-aggressive, but they're just, they're fast. The Splatana Stamper is too slow. Man, that weapon sucks. It's depressing how bad Big Swig is. And it's like, when we get new weapons, nobody ever uses them because they suck! Big Swig is terrible. The the other sniper is. Uh, I should have like did that better. Oh come on. 
like it do, the thing about big swing is the only time you can get damage if it is if you do a vertical swing horizontal swings suck it's special is okay it's like it's attack damage is dog shit you can't roll over people you neither can you do that with a carbon roller but you can actually e more easily roll over people with a carbon roller than you can with a big swig which is saying something so like it's just not good and then you have the other one what was it man why am i just not right now it's because i'm thinking i can't think when i play um oh man i had to run into the fucking thing on the side i tried to get away but i like knocked into the little platform thing but um the sniper thing is cool but i just you know i never see anybody using it the one time I ever run out of ink with this weapon? Holy shit. That's like a one in a lifetime thing for me. Sniper Rider is the weapon of all time. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's neat. But, man, it's neat, but I just don't see anybody using it. I don't particularly know what's wrong with it. But I just don't see people using it, and I don't use it either. <laughs> it's just kind of like, okay. And those, um, only, I don't see people use it in lobbies, um, you've come across as well. Only time you see it is when Salmon Run forces it on people and those rotations suck. Yeah. I mean, like, in my, okay, in my humble opinion, in my humble opinion, if, if Salmon Run forces you to use a sniper, it's going to be a bad rotation. I'm, I'm dead ass honest. I do not like salmon run rotations with snipers. They're just never, they never turn out good. They always turn out like shit. They're never good. A great unless sniper rider. They're they're great until unless sniper rider is involved. I'm just not good at being a sniper. That's the thing. I I like playing sniper in in like turf war as like a funsies thing, where it's like I know I'm not gonna win this match. I know I'm just gonna play like shit. But it's it's turf war and it's not gonna matter. And the only people that are mad at me are my teammates because I'm bad. But the thing is, I just kind of like playing it because when I do get a snipe, it feels good. And the serotonin hits. And I think it's fun. Ooh, where'd you come from? I'm awful at sni snipers at PvP. Me too, I just think it's fun. <laughs> I just don't think about it too much. I just kind of enjoy myself, and then if I if I get some good snipes, then I will be like, haha, that felt good, and then not worry about it. <laughs> I don't play them during like ranked matches, though. That would be like.
That would be a not smart move. I think I accidentally one time joined a uh, a Splat Zones match with a Squiffer, and that was not good. I think I actually won, but I don't think it was me that helped win. I think it was my teammates pulling the load. <laughs> but it was a total accident. I'm like, oh, uh, we're not playing turf? Oh, oops. But immediately after that, I changed. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not using this anymore. At least Squiffer is good. I need to get used to Squiffer. I need to, like, practice Squiffer. The thing is, I'm a baby, and I like the scope because I'm terrible at aiming. <laughs> I'm just, like, dog shit at aiming, so the, the scope helps, and Squiffer doesn't have a scope. And so I cry and I, and I piss my pants. Splatoon elites watching the stream right now like, WHY DOESN'T SHE USE ANY OTHER WEAPONS?! I swear to god, I only win when I play with, uh, the- the three weapons that I'm good at. Both Dapple Dooleys and maybe Mini Splatling if life is kind to me at that moment. <laughs> and Mini Splatling is really only good for uh, at least the- the other Mini Splatling with, um, the spawner thing. The bubble- the bubble. And that's good for, for power control. I do like normal mini spotlight. I like the uh, the stamper since they somewhat fixed the stamper. It was a shame that stamper got such a shit treatment during the start of this game. Like when this game came out, fucking uh, stamper got like dog shit treatment. It was so broken. That and the um, the tentabrella. Which, Tentabrilla is good, but just because of how the game fucking ruined it with glitches. Oh! Um. No, you're supposed to use Splash O Matic! Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I forgot about the, 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 the Splash O Matic uh, meta. My, my bad. I'm sorry. Honestly, my mistake. I miss Inkstorm Splatbrella Tails. I miss her so much. Yeah. I feel like some of the options for, for changes when it comes to uh, weapon specials were not the best. I do think the fixes to this weapon were really good. Noir fixes were really good. Mostly because of the fact that I- thanks bro, uh, you saved my ass. Mostly because the thing about um, these weapons in Splatoon 2 is that they had no bombs. Even the main one doesn't have bombs. That's the issue with it. It doesn't have bombs. But with this one, it has um, an actually offensive um, special. It has an offensive special, and it has- bombs. It's not like a great bomb. It's not like burst bomb. No! Please! Please God! Please God! Please! Okay, thank you. It it doesn't have like, you know, a burst bomb or something, which would be fucking goaded. If this had burst bomb, this would be goaded. But it has it has a bomb and it has reef slider, which is good. I like this being the offensive one while the original Dapple Dilly is a more, um, it has spawners and the 
um, the cans. I think that's good. I think that's good. You can have like two different types of Dapple Doolies. But in the original game, it was like, I know the original Dapple Doolies had the spawners. And I don't remember what the original special was, but I know it wasn't good. And then Nuov uh, Dapple Doolies, it was like, it was fucking, it was the mist, it was toxic mist, and it was Ink Storm. Oh, suck bomb launcher. Okay, that's not that bad. Suction bomb launcher isn't that bad. But I know Nuav was like the I know it was um the the the, the, the other thingy and then uh Ink Storm. Which I mostly knew used Nuav. But then but then but then near the end of the game's lifespan, God gave me a gift. And it was the clear dapple doolies. Clear dapple doolies were a gift upon man. Because it had splashdown. And I knew, I knew, in the bottom of my heart, that these were gonna be it. Ah, oh, what? I knew that was it, Luigi, and I was... I was in love. It was love at first sight. I don't remember the, the the bomb option for that weapon. But I remember it wasn't that bad either. Oh man. Had to be bubbler. This is not gonna go well. But torpedo? Yeah. <laughs> so it was this one. It was this bomb. Which is definitely not bad at all. Splashdown and Torpedo was really good. A and I- my- I was- I was just in love. I was so happy. I was like, bro, this is the best day ever. What sucked about it- what sucked about that weapon was that it came so close to the end of Splatoon 3 or Splatoon 2 being out of, um, updates. Like, I think that was, like, the last update in Splatoon 2. And I was so sad, because I'm like, I didn't even get to use this during any Splatfests! I'll do one more, which is perfect, because I have one more. I think matches are gonna change too in at four, so. If you were content using Splat Brella during two's lifespan. You know what I liked using? You know what I liked using? I liked using undercover brella. <laughs> I was a I was an undercover brella fan. I was pretty good with it too. I liked the kit on Undercover Bella. I remember I liked it because it also had Splashdown, which was pretty good. I don't like the kit from, for Undercover Bella in this game. I don't, think, I don't think it's great. Well, that and Splat, uh, Splat Jr. Getting killed by a Splat Jr. is honestly so insulting. It hurts. But I do get how it how it's good because it, it had ink armor in Splat 2, which was really good. Ink armor was great. I really liked ink armor. You you know what I always find a little bit annoying about Splat Fests? Is that if you have if your outfit <clears throat> is like particularly made for your weapon and you have like something important on your shirt 
this is just a, a side tangent that I just thought about because I was thinking about Splatfist because I saw somebody with a Splatfest tee. Um, if you have like a good thing on your, <laughs> if you have a good thing on your your shirt that you use, like let's say you have like invisible invisible ink, and so nobody sees you while you're swimming or haunt like I do where it if you get killed by someone you can give them respawn punisher by just killing them after you respawn and you don't get punished as well which is great um if you have something like that and it's on your shirt then you won't be able to use it during splatfest i find that obnoxious it hurts my my soul I, I, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, I do wish you could change outfits or change shirts during squad fests. Well, about that, huh? Do you have knowledge to bestow upon me? Aw, oh, man. Jackass. <laughs> Talking to the Tumblr sex mana splat fill site in Goblis, you can swap out the main ability to the splat fill key at a heavy chunk discount. But will you be able to put it back to your normal one? Because I know, I know Haunt is like a main ability, so would that, would that replace two times multiplier? Because it's one thing if it's like, you know, quick respawn, but like. Oh. Uh, long range. Hurts my soul. Anything you can apply to the main slot, you can place there. Really? I fucking loathe dynamo rollers so much. You'll lose the ability doubling. Come on! You'll- like, I just spawned! How did it kill me instantly? It, like, hit me twice. You'll lose the doubler for the remainder of Splatfest, but you'll have the option at least. Come on! Pulled that through. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was able to get three of them in one go. Oh. Eat shit! Final match, baby! So you'll lose the doubler for the remainder of Splatfest, but you have the option at least. So, okay. So it's cheaper to to put, like... So if you want to put Haunt on your Splatfest tee, you can do it for cheaper than putting it on a normal tee. Am I correct? Or am I being stupid? I actually can go talk to him right now and see. Because the tea is temporary. Okay, so it's cheaper. Alright. Uh, 
That's what I thought. Multiplayer modes. That's not bad. First, let me, uh, put in my conks. Sun-dried grease. That's me. Debating whether I should put ninja squid on your, uh, Splatfest tea. Maybe. I mean, it depends on how many chunks I have. So let me see. Mincemeat moment. Ew, tower control. Hello. I'm back. You can. Oh my god. Yeah, it is cheaper. Huh. The thing is, I don't think I'm gonna do haunt because I'm trying to save up my respawn punisher or like my quick respawn chunks. So I think I'll just do uh, this. Quick respawn is really hard to find, so I'll I'll just put ninja squid on it. Why not? That'll be good for me. Great. That's fantastic. Thank you for telling me that. I actually had no idea. I don't care about table turf. This is what I wanted. I also want this, even though I hate it. Oh, well, I don't hate it. I just think it looks a little funny. Me uh, with your hundreds of chunks for committing what amounts to illegal activity. Haha, <laughs> yeah, QR chunks sure are hard to find. Mm hmm? You can do that? Excuse me, par pardon, pardon moi? Let me see if I, oh fuck. Let me see if I like this better with the mask. No, I think this adds a nice little bit of color to the outfit. I play a lot of Salmon Run, okay? Yeah, yeah. I know you can farm chunks really, really well with Salmon Run. I still never get anything with a uh, quick respawn though, so it's it's hard. I don't know why. Anyway, I think that'll be it. I finished after Alterna, which was painfully easy, and everybody in that play Splatoon are pussies. Uh, I played a couple matches, which is great. I never play matches on stream, so this is good. I also need to upload VODs. <laughs> I need to upload VODs. I might do that today. I might just like make all the thumbnails and just upload them all today so yeah i'm very behind on vods so that sounds good also um i've been thinking about possibly changing my my uh stream setup in a way because i was thinking this i don't know if i'm gonna do this because it would be a lot of work but Possibly having a thousand year door theme to my stream setup, my stream layout. Because I don't know, I thought it would be kind of cool to change my, my starting soons and stuff. Because I use, I use Paper Mario sound effects for subs and stuff. So I thought it might be neat to, to kind of theme the streams layout around that but at the same time it would be cool if i did something clowny because it's more of quote unquote the brand so if chat would be interested in something clowny versus something thousand you dory that would be interesting 
I might do a poll on Twitter and we'll see. Cause you know the, the transition in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door where the um, the curtain c comes down and swaps it with the next scene. I thought I thought that would be cool, and I I was looking at Scott Falco's um, stuff for his stream, and I, I was getting a little inspired by it. So I don't know, maybe I might do a, a poll and see what people think. It would be a lot of work, uh, but it might be interesting. You can see that, yeah. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, uh, let me change my HDMI so I can swap to my main monitor. Alrighty. And better transitions too, instead of like, just this little like, gradient wipe, wipe thing would be interesting. Anyway, uh, I appreciate everybody for showing up today. I had a lot of fun. Uh, let me see who I can raid. I'm definitely gonna work on thumbnails really quick. And then start uploading VODs that I'm uh, a little behind on. Glad you were able to stop in for once. Yeah, thank you for showing up, man. I appreciate it. I, I like making conversation in, in, in stream. It's fun. <laughs> Keeps my vocal cords active, especially for a game like Splatoon. Sometimes I tend to go quiet. Anyway, I'm gonna send you guys to RT Games. He's having his VTuber debut right now. His VTuber was just made by Janomu, and Janomu makes some good stuff. But he's playing Persona 5 Dancing with the Stars, and I actually just finished um, the funny palace with rivers in the desert in Persona 5. So yeah, go watch his stream if you want. He's a good guy, he's funny and all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.